Hello, here we are on a beautiful day in beautiful Wendy Park. Lake Erie's over to my right and then leading, of course, to the whole wide world's oceans. My name is Fran Mensch. I'm the co-chair of the Northeast Ohio Sierra Club Water Committee. I'm here today um, speaking on behalf of the environment, but I'm not speaking as a Sierra Club. The, the concern that, that I want to discuss is it has to do with plastics, plastics pollution. Voters look for a shortcut. They look for a heuristic. I want something, I don't want to get all this complicated. I want something really easy. So the heuristic always comes down to money and jobs. Money is taxes and jobs. Well, that is pulled into the um, political discourse about plastics too. And they'll, they, they will say, people are working. They are, go they are working, they have um, a job uh, making plastics, whatever it is. And um, they'll say, you know, the taxes from those jobs are not just help, they're helping everybody. So they'll say, if you pull the plastic bags out of the environment, plastic, you're, you're, you're removing jobs. Well, again, you have to dig deeper. It is somebody's job, but behind that is a, is a large manufacturing enterprise. And they um, have lobbyists and there's always always protecting there we all protect our interests right corporations protect their self-interest as we all do individually so that's part of the discourse however it is more complicated than just losing somebody losing jobs because those people you don't know number one could they find another job will not the the shift in thinking and in use of plastics have have impact and the jobs won't disappear but they will in fact shift as we know from shift in energy in general that the jobs went from one sector to another and, and um, there are these quote these green jobs uh, and you don't know how it would act itself out in the environment either I mean if you if you own a grocery store and you, you spend less money on purchasing plastic bags and dealing with them, you may in fact think, I'm going to improve my quality, the experience of my customer. You might hire somebody to help facilitate packing or whatever, all these other things that we look for, for quality and pleasure in our lives. So the other part of the, of the political discourse is nanny government, right? You, the government shouldn't have to get involved in telling people, getting that involved in people's lives. So there's an, there's an ideological um, stance also. It's just keep government out of our lives. The, the market will solve the, the problem. The most effective way to change people's behavior is to, in fact, legislate against it. You know, it's going to cost you 10 cents if you use a plastic bag. People will use, they'll bring reusable bags and they will use less bags. But back to this, the, the market will solve all, all of the problems. In many ways, the market, in fact, not in many ways, in, in truth, the market is leading this argument against plastics. You can't get bags from Costco. You can't get bag, plastic bags from, if you, if you get them from Aldi's or uh, Save-A-Lot, they charge you. I think maybe they're not even available. I don't know exactly what goes on with Whole Foods, but it's the same type of thing where the private sector is saying, we don't want to um, provide plastic bags for free because if something's free, it gets wasted, right? So people are willing to bring their own or to, or to pay for bags. So the private sector is really, is really leading um, in, in this way. So that's another argument. <laughs> that's another way to look at this on the ideological spectrum.